Hey what's up guys I'm Lan here welcome back to a new video on my channel in this video I'm going to talk about my experience with iPad OS 15 beta 5 so the first things first as you can see on my iPad 8 generation the icon looks little bigger so there are actually quite a bit of new features that I'm going to explain in this video so before that I had forgot to take in a screenshot but the iPad OS 15 beta 5 came in about you know 837 to 845 MB on my iPad 8 generation so as you can see this is an ipad 8 generation and if you have a different ipad or depends if you are coming from different ipad os i came from ipad os 15 beta 4 to beta 5 so the update size was 845 mb around that size so if you are directly coming from ipad os 14 or ipad os 15 beta 2 beta 3 the sizes will be different for you now in this video i'm going to talk about some of the new features and you know my initial experience after using ipad os 15 beta 5 for now 2 to 3 days so without further delay let's get this video started but before that if you're new here and happen to enjoy this kind of videos give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel because that gives me a lot of motivation to make more of this kind of videos with that being said let's get right into the video All right guys so the first things first as you can see this is an iPad 8 generation if i go to the settings general and about section as you can see the software version says it's iPad OS 15 and the new build number is 19A 5318F so these are all the details as you can see the model number is iPad 8 generation let me know how many of you use iPad 8 generation or uh, any other device whatsoever device you're using now talking about the new features so the first thing first as you can see if i clicked on photos as you can see there's a new pop up so that says shared with you memories and richer info so there are quite a lot of you know pop ups in different application which i discovered and also i made a separate video on that on ios 15 beta 5 we can go ahead and check that video out i'll be putting a card right around here so you can go ahead and check that out So let me talk about the new things. So first if I go to this settings and if I go to this home screen option as you can see home screen and dock. Now you can see this option which says used large icons. So if I you know turn this off as you can see the icons were normal at it was before with iPad OS 15 beta 4 and beta 3. Now if you go to settings make sure you come to this home screen and dock option and use this used large icons and as you can see now the icon looks a little bigger and it looks actually a little more filling if i move this to portrait and landscape no matter what the icon actually looks a little filling and also it looks better actually so i prefer it to be in this way if you want you can turn this off so then again come to settings home screen and dock so the first thing first is use large icons so you can turn this on or turn this off so the next change would be in terms of safari if you come to the settings and go to the safari let me find a safari option here So as you can see if I click on Safari if you come down as you can see previously this compact tab bar and separate tab bar was there but with few of the devices it was not properly working some of the times it was showing up some of the times it was not working properly and also if I come down so as you can see within this accessibility option show color in tab this option was not there before this option has come a little bit new now let me show you Safari if I open Safari as you can see this is how it looks like in Safari and as you can see on the top of this web bar now you have a kind of a outline kind of a thing which looks cool and also as i said before if you go to the settings and if you do this show color in tab bar it sort of you know uh, switches the color you know dark or uh, shade or things like that i don't know what different does it make but this is a new option here and it is present in the safari so in talking about in terms of battery life there are no changes in terms of battery life because let me tell you guys most of you ask me about how the battery life is and how the performance so i will come to the performance part later let me talk about this you know battery life first so as you can see from my screen on time i don't use my ipad that much so if i uh, go to last 10 days as you can see i have hardly used the ipad yesterday i have 
used you know the ipad to make some notes on my one note application so if i click on last 24 hours as you can see the screen on time is 56 minutes and the screen out time is zero minutes so that's what you know let me use this ipad os 15 beta 5 because the batteries are okayish a little bit but the people who always ask me whether ipad os 14 has better battery life or ipad os 15 beta has a better battery life i would obviously say ipad os 14 was better in terms of battery when i had that installed so then again this was the video and talking about the performance as you can see the performance is really smooth there is no lag whatsoever in terms of performance so let me know if you would like to see more ipad os videos in the future and that's how this video is going to end so i hope i have covered all this i wanted to say in this video this video was just about you know talking about ipad os 15 beta 5 update on my ipad generation i hope you like this video give this video a thumbs up and also it would be a humble request to subscribe to the channel because it means a lot to me so then again with that being said i will see you on my next video bye